Hey guys, welcome back to the channel DZ Can Toys, where I do reviews and share my thoughts on some of my favorite toy releases. Today we'll be looking at a new Figma release, which is Figma 491 Lance Raider or Rider, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. For this review, I'm just gonna call it Lance Raider. So let's check out the box and get the unboxing started. Here we have our Figma Lance unboxed. A short introduction of Figma is that it is a series of Japanese action figure line produced by Max Factory and distributed by Good Smile Company. The product series is more focused on its articulation and anime accurate detailing. For the most part, they do anime characters, video game characters, and also original characters as seen over here. As for our character, Lance Raider, she is another illustration from the famous artist known as Nico, and this series of illustration is known as Falls Lander. All of Nico's illustration has that futuristic vibe mixed in with cool looking girls wearing armor, and over here Lance is no different. So if you're interested in these kind of designs, make sure to check out Nico's illustration works. In addition, if you think the design language looks quite familiar, and you own the few Figma heavily armed high school girl series, then you are right because False Lander series of design for Lance Raider is the same illustrator as the heavily armed high school series, which is Nico. Now let's move on to the aesthetics and paint job of the figure. Now in terms of the aesthetics, it's definitely a waifu looking Figma, so 100 out of 100. Anyways, jokes aside, I do like the design of this Figma because not only does it look futuristic, it also fits in with that medieval knight in armor looking theme. Over here, starting from the head, we have beautiful pink for the hair color for this armored girl, Lance Raider, but we also have that cool looking face mask, armor knight piece on the forehead. As we see over here, only part of her face is showing because we also have bottom piece of the face armor covering the mouth. Taking a closer look, we do have nice pink pupil for the eyes which matches the pink colored hair well. As we move down to the upper body, we have these futuristic looking straps all around her battle suit and we also have more of that silver armor design moving down towards the chest part. Furthermore, for the midsection of this Figma, we can definitely tell she has some great assets. Sheesh! Uh, and by assets, I mean her cool looking armor for her arms. I don't know what else you guys were thinking. Anyways, the armor on the arms definitely look pretty cool and they have that medieval vibe, similar to the mask armor. For the rest of her body though, the non-arm part is more of the battlesuit looking type of design. Here's a closer look at the intricate design of the armor. We do have a hand guard for the arm armor as well. Also at this view, I want to mention that we have some sort of armor but also futuristic looking piece at the back which extend all the way down with a single strap. Moving towards the lower body, we do have a different design asymmetrical for the legs. At the right legs, we have the battle suit design without the armor and for the left legs we do have it in the full leg armor which does look very matching to the arm armors there's some nice printed details as for the right side although it is not wearing any armor we do have some nice color separation with a gray strap a black strap and also a dark brown strap at the thighs interesting enough though looking at the accessories for this Figma, we can actually swap both legs to the armor looking pieces or both legs to the battle suit looking legs, which I can show you guys later in the accessory section. Furthermore, for the feet design, it does look like she is wearing some type of heels. Overall, in terms of the aesthetics, I would say I really enjoy Nico's illustration designs in Figma form. As for the paint job, we mostly just have black and silver for the armor and that colorful pink pop for the hair and the eye pupils. Now in terms of the accessories, the first one I'm showing you guys is an extra hair piece that we can swap for the armor piece for the hair. As seen over here, this basically shows her without the armor piece on the forehead. 
We do have another small neck piece which we can swap with the bottom here to show her mouth as well. Here's the results once we swap out the bottom armor piece for the neck piece. As seen over here, it looks like she has an exposed neck and we can see all of her, all of her facial features now. Next, we also have two extra faceplate included in this Figma. Besides those ones, first we have this one, which is the normal looking face attached to the Figma straight out of the box. As for the second one, we have a faceplate with her mouth open and we do have nice pinkish color painted inside the mouth. For the third and last face plate, we have her smiling with her mouth open. If you guys look more closer, there's some sort of blush pinkish paint applied on the cheeks. Moving on, we have an accessory which is the face plate including the hair that covers the whole face. So this way we can make Lance over here. It looks like she is armored up just like a knight. Very interesting with articulation. As seen over here, if you move it downwards, you can actually cover all of her face, just like that. And if you want to, you can lift her head up again and it looks like part of her face is showing for the mouth. Almost like a Iron Man type of face mask once you apply this face piece to her. So very cool stuff. In terms of the hand accessory, we have quite a few pair of hands. First, we have the open palms as seen on the Figma itself. Next up, we also have two closed fists, also two gripping hands, two semi-open palms, and lastly, two gripping hands that has the thumbs outwards. So a lot of options over here. As you guys have probably seen, we also have this huge lance weapon accessory. It looks very cool and reminiscent of a knight. It does separate in the middle, just like that, for easy attachment to the hands and afterwards you can just put it back together like that. We do have a trigger looking piece over here, although you can't move it and be careful, it is a little bit flexible, but if you push it hard enough, I'm sure it will break. This part does make this lance look a bit more futuristic. So you can use this lance just like the Figma as a futuristic looking weapon or a medieval weapon in my personal opinion. Here we have her holding the lance weapon. It definitely looks very menacing and the lance itself is actually taller than the Figma. Now other than the lance, we do have one more weapon as seen over here as an accessory. It is a dagger which she can hold in either hand. It is up to you guys. Next, as mentioned earlier, we have these two leg piece accessory. So one is to swap out over here and other is to swap out over here. So you can either have her in the full battle suit mode with both legs or both legs having that armored look. Or if you just want the armored look for the right leg instead of the left leg, you can swap this one on and this one on over here. The playability is definitely there, so it's really up to you guys. Here's a quick look with the non-armored leg piece swapped on. So if you want her to have a less armored outlook, more of a relaxing outfit, we have this option over here. It is worth noting that although the leg over here that we swapped on does not have the armor, it is not exactly the same as the right side of the leg. As seen over here at the thighs, it does not have the same designs compared to the color separation of the other thigh. Over here, we have the results once we do the leg swap for the right side into the armored leg piece. So this way, we have a more armored outlook as both legs are now armored. Like the other non-armored leg that we can swap on for the other side, this side is also not exactly the same as the other armored leg. The only difference is that we also see a dagger holster over here which is to store the dagger once we're not using it if you want to. With this comes our last accessory. So remember the dagger that I showed you guys earlier? We have this little piece here, which does not have the dagger point, it's just a handle. When we want to store it away, we can store it in this dagger holster. This is what it looks like once it is stored away. Now let's quickly check out the articulation. For the head, we have a 360 rotation looking up, looking down. Without this part of the armor, actually, I assume it will be better, but with it, you can only bend down this far. 
we do have a side to side rotation. As for the arms, they can go all the way up. Very nice. And around, oh, whoops, the hand fell. But in terms of the elbows, as seen over here, we can only bend this far because of this armor design over here. Anyways, as seen, because no shoulder armor exists, it is quite good for the upper arm articulation. In terms of the waist and the upper chest, we do have a rotation here and it goes side to side a little bit and the lower waist just fell off but you can actually connect it pretty easily on the ball joint. We do have a rotation here, uh, forward, backward and a little bit side to side. As for the legs, they go all the way up this far. They don't really go too far but it's good enough and the back of course our knee bend and lastly for the ankles you can go forward backwards also a rotation now i noticed that this part separates pretty easily so definitely be careful about that this joint over here at the waist the armor side is relatively the same although the leg is armored it seems like the articulation is mostly the same we do have a thigh rotation before I forget for each side. As for the thigh rotation, we do have a rotation here for the armor side, but the non-armor side, it seems like mine doesn't have a rotation or it can be stuck. But looking closely, I feel like there's no joint over here, which is kind of weird. Lastly, at the back, we have this small strap, which is articulated on the Figma joint. Time for some size comparisons. First, we have a Figma Goblin Slayer. They both have that knight looking armor on them and they look quite good to each other. Here we have Figma Ichi, which is by the same illustrator Nico. So together they have that futuristic vibe looking design, which also works with her. So that's what I really enjoy about Lance over here. Final thoughts on today's Figma review, the Figma 491 Lance Raider. Overall, I really enjoy the design of this Figma. I feel like Nico's artwork for False Lander is perfected in this Figma form. Another really great thing about this Figma is that it looks both futuristic and medieval at the same time. What I mean by that is with the armor looking designs, you can use this Figma for a medieval looking toy photography setting or also a more futuristic cyberpunk looking setting with its armored and mechanical designs. As much as I wish this is a perfect Figma, it is not. In terms of negatives, for the waist section, it pops off way too easily when you're moving it around. It might just be my Figma personally, but if all of them are like this, then it is a bit of a hassle. Another small negative regarding the articulation is the elbow. Because of the armor design, it is hindered a little bit. That one is more understandable. Would I recommend this Figma? Well, if you're willing to overlook the waist section popping off a bit way too easily when posing her around, then I would say this Figma is definitely a go. I personally really like the design as the design itself for me is almost a perfect design for a Figma like this. Anyways, there goes the end of today's review. If you enjoyed it, please remember to support the channel by liking, subscribing, Turn on that bell notification. As always, my friends, remember to stay young at heart and we're out. Hmm, there seem to be something about pink-haired anime girl waifus, am I right?